Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we'll be playing Build a Ball for Treasure, and apparently our YouTube channel just got to over 200 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support, and we're gonna do a 200 subscriber special. It's really crazy how we just got another 100 subscribers on our channel. So yeah, let's get started, and our 200 subscriber special video will be on a working robot. So first, I'll be giving you guys a showcase. All right. First, I did that for the arms and legs. So, yeah, basically, wait, let me just. So, yeah, you basically just have a working robot where you know you have the arms and legs working. And yeah, I just get started on the tutorial. So, let me just throw this thing back in. Alright. Um, Alright, so first. We're going to start off like, wait, no, it's laggy, uh, okay. So first we start off with some plastic, it can be metal but I recommend plastic, but up to you. So you start off with plastic and you make these dimensions like, um, two, yeah, um, oh yeah. And scale it down. Yeah, yeah. So make sure it's like this. And then I'm gonna paint mine blue for the torso color. And then let's go to the arms. And then just duplicate these. And then the legs. And we're gonna do the head last actually. So let's just paint this thing. And then the legs, any color of course. Alright, so let's start off with this. And then, alright. So first, you wanna make like a little thing like this. The maker is not too big, so I'm gonna do mine by like 0.5. And then, let's see, alright, do this, this, and then, scale each side by 9.25, that should work, yeah, 9.25, and then, or 9.75, but make sure it's like 21.5, and then, you want to add the first servos, which is like this one right here. Wait, it's not rotating. Okay, there you go. So rotate, tail, rotate, tail, and then rotate again. And place it right over here. Um, and then take some wood and make sure you place it on the block first so when you're on anchor, it doesn't fall off. And yeah, just simply connect it to the arm. Center it if you want. So it looks pretty nice. And then like it's balanced. And then once you do that, add another servo right over here. Oh yeah, so this way when you rotate this, it makes the arm go like, you know, like left and right and stuff. So this way, uh, yeah, so then add another servo over here facing this way. And then, Go with this, scale it by this again, and then half right here. Oh, yeah, and then scale it up like that, and then scale it back by like one, and then add this thing over here. Ready, no mess, and then yeah, put it like that. And then make it, let's see, one block tall. And then add this part. There's obviously many different ways to connect this servo to the arm. But this is just one of the ways that I did it. And then connect it 
And just in case, I'm gonna do a little bit inside. In case I might fall out. And yeah, just do the same thing to the other side, which I'm gonna do real quick. Alright, once you've done that, you should have this servo, the top one, connecting to this arm. And then make sure this servo right here is connecting to this, like, you know, little wood pole. And then this servo down here is connected to the bottom part of the arm. So make sure you, you have two cubes like this. And the same thing for the other side, of course. And then, and this part, these two are optional. If you want to make the bottom arms, like, you know, curve. And if you just want to block it, like Minecraft animation, you can just add this part and make this one whole re big rectangular prism and not add this part. But if you want to add this part, you know, make it like sort of curve, just add this part. So yeah, basically this makes the whole thing go like rotate or two because this is also attached to this server, which is attached to the bottom part, bottom part of the arm. Same thing for the other side, so yeah. Now we're gonna go to the legs. So we're going to add another part like this on both sides. Um, yep. And then scale it. Very nice. And then scale it down up to 4.75. Right. And then Add a, ser add a servo over here and then just connect this, simply connect this to the top part of the leg. So, well, you can put it in the center if you want. But just make sure this servo is connected to this part. Make sure it's not touching this part of the leg. And then, and make sure it's only touching the leg, top part of the leg. And I did not do this function from any YouTuber, so, yeah, I'm not trying to steal anything, dude, oh my god, alright, so yeah, make sure it's only connected to the top part, just to assure that to you guys, um, okay, yeah, and make sure, yeah, just make sure it doesn't touch anything or it's gonna break, and then do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna add this part again. Boom. All right, and now you wanna add the bottom servo. If this is too low, you can always like bring it up. Let's see. Yeah, I might have to scale it up. Um. All right. And then I'm actually gonna have to delete one of these servos. Alright, um, attach it like this, and then, hmm, yeah, attach it like that, and then add another wood thing over here, and then do that, scale it like this. And then place a block over here under the leg. And it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Perfect. Just yeah, I'd like again make sure they can they're connected with each other. Do the same thing on the other side. I can't alright. Alright, there we go. So yeah. Same function as the arms. Make sure this servo connects to this top part, like this box, and then that's also connected to this servo, which connects to the bottom feet. And now, lastly, I actually want to scale it inwards by like 0 0.02 because I guess it still wouldn't work when it's 0 0.01 blocks away from the torso, and the torso is not going to have any function. So that's why it can't be connected to it. Otherwise the torso, torso is also going to rotate, which we don't want. Alright, so you make this like 0 0.98 by 0 0.96 by 1. But, but 0 0.96 has to be for the top part. 
because it makes me sure it doesn't touch the torso or the bottom part of the leg. So yeah, the bottom part of the legs are the same, have the same dimensions as the arms. Right, and then, oh yeah, let's add the head too. So I used cameras just to make it a perfect circle and then painted it yellow. And then rotate it. Oh, uh, yeah, and then make it yellow. And then now binding time. All right, so first you wanna place two chairs so this is binded to nothing. So first, um, you wanna do the top part of everything, but one at a time. So this circle first for the top part of the arm. So left, you're gonna want that to be, so if it's left, it's going this way. So if you want it, like when you first start walking, the left arm goes forward first. I'm gonna make that E. So when you hold E, it should go left. And then right would be Q. And this is only for the, th for the top part. And then left, I want it to be opposite. So left would be Q. And then right would be E. So make sure these are op opposite. Also actually, make sure the head is attached to this part. Make sure these servos are binded to the chair. So left would be Q. No, left would be, yeah, Q. So when it goes that way, you press Q. And right would be E. And the opposite for this one, left going that way would be Q. And then right would be E. So this way it's opposite. And then, there you go. And then the arms I gotta fix. This one needs to be opposite. So left is E. And then right is Q. There we go. See? Now they're opposite. And then we're almost done. Wait, let me just attach this torso again. Everything's on anchor. Uh, everything's anchor. Alright. Alright, there we go. Hang on, let me just. I think it should work now. Yeah, okay. And now we're gonna do the bottom part. So select these two servos. Um so this one attaches to the bottom part of the arm. So left will make it go the other way. So you don't want you want left to be like a random button that you wouldn't use and right to be T. So this way your arm makes like sort of goes like this and then same thing for the other side. Because if you have it like this way, which is the random button. It, that's not you can't do that with arms where the bones are broken unless they're double jointed and then e and then this button there you go and now for the uh, for the legs so the bottom part left so you, you your legs curve the opposite way your arms do generally so make left go t and then right there's nothing and then and boom do that and then make your face however you want and yeah and now we're gonna we're almost done we just gotta add the wheels so that makes the whole thing move um let's see yeah i'm gonna attach it like this uh oh okay let me anchor everything it still work oh yeah <laughs> anchor but yeah it should work and yeah save everything and then let's attach add the wheels and then i don't know i'm gonna make my go turn on both sides and then duplicate this and then add the wheels so this is very this part is very important just to make it so like it's a normal person so you're gonna take one of the legs doesn't matter. And then scale it over here. And then make sure this wheel is like elevated properly with this. It's actually a bit. Yeah, that works. And then you delete that. This may be too tall, so do this. Make, yeah, make sure it's attached. And then let me just fix this part. And maybe yeah, maybe too low. Do that. 
and then clone it. Rotate it. It doesn't matter which way your wheels face. Just make sure this is the elevation height. And yeah, this is, these are the front wheels. And then get the back wheel like this. Delete that. Clone it. And yeah, that should be good. Save it. Um, just make everything invisible except for the body and the face features. Um, oh my god. Good chill. And yeah, just make everything invisible except for the chair and the, and the body. And turn collision off except for the wheels. And then select all. Oh yeah, save everything. Bro. Select all. Unanchor. Let's go first try and then oh yeah bind the camera. So let's see. I don't know. So that any any key bind is fine. Make it F, why not? Unanchor. Get in the camera. Make it like this. This is the oh my god. Get a light. And yeah. You are done. Make your wheel speed any way you want. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!